Hi, this is Brian Maskell from BMA Inc. And this is the first of a series of short videos that I'm planning to do on the 10 financial secrets of truly lean companies. Now, as most of you will have found out that moving from a traditional environment to a lean company changes a lot of things, doesn't it? It changes almost everything. And uh, certainly within the financial, the accounting control and the measurement issues, there's a lot of changes that need to be made. And uh, over these uh, next uh, few videos, I just want to take a look at some of those issues. The first of our 10 financial secrets is value streams. In lean companies, we make, manage, measure and improve by value stream and not by the traditional departments. The second is we go with simple weekly financial and operational reporting, something that's timely and well understood by everybody. The third one is the box score, and the box score brings together operational information, information about the capacity usage and how well we're using our resources, and then the financial reporting of the business. And this is used for lots of things. It's used for reporting, but more importantly for decision-making and understanding financial implications of lean. The fourth one is calculating the financial benefits of lean. Lots of companies try to work out, well, what are we going to achieve by, uh, by what we've done with lean? And there's a lot of uh, hocus pocus that goes on in, uh, in trying to understand that. And uh, we use the, the box score to show in a clear way how that works. Number five is the transaction elimination or system simplification. As you bring your processes under control using Lean, then you can eliminate a lot of those very complicated transaction-based systems. And uh, that's a secret that's uh, really important and saves you lots of time, money, and effort. Uh, number six is eliminating standard costing. Uh, we haven't found in a lean organization that calculating a product cost is very helpful and certainly not using something like standard costing where you allocate all kinds of overheads and things into the cost of the product or worse yet, some kind of activity-based approach that does it in an even more complicated way. So we want to look at what are the simple ways that we can use to uh, make the kinds of decisions that are currently made using a standard product cost. Then we're looking at value-based pricing, that uh, as we move into a lean environment, you know, the first principle of lean is all about value, isn't it? Value to who? Value to the customer. And so we need to price our products around that concept of uh, value to the customer. Number eight is target costing. And this is really ties in with that value-based pricing because um, what, we, what a traditional company does is they would often say, well, the price of the product is the cost and then plus a margin. And in Lean, we turn that around completely. We say, what is the price? And then we say, well, what's the profit that we may, need to make from that? And that tells us then what the cost is, or at least what the cost should be. And that becomes our target cost. And then we have to work towards... Uh, creating a cost that matches that target. Secret number nine is sales operations and financial planning. Now, some people think that uh, when you're a lean company and you're quick on your feet and very agile and able to meet customers' needs in a short time and so on, that this uh, means that you don't need to do planning. But of course, the opposite is the case. What we need is to have a very capable planning process so as to enable us to, uh, to have that kind of agility and uh, ability to, to meet the customer's needs. And that's what sales operations and financial planning is about. Now, the financial piece also gives us ongoing financial forecasts, and that enables us to eliminate the traditional budgeting approach. And secret number 10 is that we can eliminate the traditional accounting systems and replace them with this much simpler, fully comprehensive and yet at the same time very lean approach to accounting control and measurement. And the first nine, if you add those together, give you everything that you need to be able to control your business internally and to report externally all of the information that's required for your corporation, for the stock market, for the tax people and so on. So those are the 10 secrets. And over the next uh, few videos, we're going to take a look at each of those and uh, delve into them a little deeper. Mm -hmm.